okay in this video we are going to design the urls for our blog application actually there is the convention so whether you should design your view first or the url first but that depends upon the person to person but i actually prefer to design uh, the url first and then uh, i write some views so in this video we are going to uh, actually plan our url for our blog application and then we will write uh, views according to those URLs. So let's get started. Actually, in Django project, uh, there are uh, more than one uh, URLs dot py file. Uh, the main major one is the uh, URL dot py file, which is under your main project app. In this case, uh, the main project is the project name is my site, and your app name is blog. So this is the actual folder under. Uh, which our project resides the name of this uh, folder doesn't matter the name uh, this is the name of our app and this is the name of our project so my site is the project name and blog is the application name so the project specific urls is here and the app specific url is uh, we can uh, create the app specific a url by using urls dot py or uh, we can use uh, from django dot com dot urls import url okay this is the uh, application specific uh, urls dot py file actually uh, we can redirect uh, the request uh, from the root urls to this application specific uh, urls dot py file okay for our blog application let us handle uh, the blog URLs using this application specific uh, URLs.pyfl. So to uh, create the URLs in the Django, we can we use the uh, we need to import the URLs from the Django project to import the URL just from django.com. Let's import URL. So uh, Django use the URL patterns. To load the URLs so this is actually the list we use URL actually this is URL we use URL and for to list all the posts we will uh, use this as um, and we will define the index function uh, inside our views.py file and the name for this URL will be index so uh, we need to define uh, the index function under the views.py file of this blog application so uh, actually this is the list we can we need to use comma at the end of this function URL function so let us write views.py to uh, write uh, the index function so diff index and request and it will always return the http response return http response so for instance for this instance we will just return hello world from my <laughs> blog okay we need to import the http response object from django.http import http response so uh, actually uh, when your django project is that uh, the settings.py file will uh, load the urls.py file of your project actually this and we need to tell this url file uh, about the blog our application specific urls.py file so to do that just we use uh, url so uh, it's uh, blog blog then we will use include mm, blog.urls and then this comma at the end of this URL functions 
so if we uh, run our server manage it by run server okay you can see a lot of error name include is not defined we need to import this include from django.com.url include so let us re re run our server run server as you can see url views dot index name name views is not defined so in this urls dot py file we need to import view from dot import views uh, actually this dot uh, tells that uh, import the views dot py file from this blog app because uh, the urls dot py file and the views dot py file are in the same directory so let us read run our server uh, run server okay let us visit uh, this url okay if we go to the blog blog as you can see here hello world from my blog what if you want to uh, list all the post from oh, all the post when you uh, visit the root of your blog uh, simply uh, you can write another uh, url rules under your urls.py of your project file just uh, you can do this in same way just uh, <coughs> this caret indicates that uh, start with so uh, to do that we will redirect uh, this into this blog dot urls okay okay let us read uh, no models blog underscore urls actually no actually here is dot uh, so let us form our server so once again if i reload this url here you can see hello from my blog so in the next video we will uh, actually uh, write some query uh, to pull all the blog post from our database so thank you for watching this video thank you